In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. I want to talk to you about what the Holy Fathers call God's constant presence. It is a big topic for me and for you. However, when we have a far goal before us, it motivates us. Simply feeling God's constant presence means that you always feel God in front of you all the time. As beginners, we may feel this every once in a while in prayer. Imagine the best feeling you felt in prayer. Imagine how amazing it would be if the best feeling you ever felt in prayer becomes the constant feeling that you have all the time. This is the goal of all the saints who left the world to seek God's presence all the time. This happens to them without much effort. It comes naturally. It is like when you love someone and you feel his presence all the time. This feeling is a result of persistence and perseverance in prayer. And it is a result of focusing on the goal. We are still on the shore. We still do not know the true taste of prayer and how the saints enjoyed heaven on earth in prayer. They have priceless pleasure every moment. The topic may seem far from us, but it may encourage us to reach these people. Jesus said, He who sent me is with me. The Father has not left me alone, for I always do those things that please him. John 8, 29. This was said by Jesus, but it can be a goal for us also. Jesus lived this concept as he and the Father are one. But it is also a goal for us to feel God's constant presence. You should know that God, who brought you here into this world, is always with you and will never leave you. For I always do those things that please him. This is the equation for God's constant presence. This is the deal. To feel God's presence all the time, you feel that he is with you all the time because you always do what he desires. Our problem is that we do not feel God's companionship. God told us many times in the Bible, I am with you, but we still don't feel it or believe it. In Psalm 16, 8, I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Emmanuel, this is God's name, is translated God with us. We know it theoretically, but we don't feel it in our daily life. He is with me, but I am stressed and angry, so he is not with me. As you may talk to someone and see him daydreaming, so you ask him, Are you with me? God sees us and asks us, Are you with me? Of course, we are not with him. He is the one who is with us. When we feel God's presence all the time, we like prayer more and savor it more. All our lives will become a prayer. It is the constant feeling that prevents you from sin and makes us happy and calm. When God asked Moses to go to Pharaoh and bring his people out of Egypt, Moses began to excuse himself and said to God in Exodus 3.11, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? God did not answer the who am I question. Instead, he answered him and said, I will be with you. Moses asked God, Who am I? And the answer was, I am with you. Moses was focused on himself and that he wasn't fit for this job. God told him that it was not not about him, that it was about God being with him. Our problem is that we always focus on ourselves and our capabilities. So we either say we are good or we are bad. And God wants to say that it doesn't matter. The important thing is that I am with you. We forgot that his companionship is enough. The journey of spirituality and prayer is all about seeing him and forgetting about ourselves. He must increase, but I must increase, like John the Baptist said in John 3.30. When you forget about yourself and focus on God all the time, then you enter into constant prayer and the constant presence of God. This is the purpose of our lives, and this is heaven. Heaven is nothing but having God with you all the time.